everyone, today's video is going to be a review slash demonstration of the Style Pro Professional Makeup Brush Cleanser. I ordered this online because I've seen Wayne Goss um, do a little quick video showing this and it looked amazing. What this basically is, is a brush cleaner and dryer in one. So you know when you have to wash your brushes, which everyone dreads, you have to wash them and then leave them out to dry for at least a few hours till overnight. And sometimes it can be really tedious and you just don't want to do it because it's a big task. Well, this thing saves your life. Basically, this is a must-have for makeup artists or people who do makeup in general because this, what it claims to do is wash and dry your brushes in under a minute. You heard me, in under a minute. That is crazy. So this is $49.99. I got it from the Style Pro website, which I will leave all the information down below. They're amazing. You have to check them out. So I'm going to show you this now, and I set it all up together, and then show you a demonstration using this. I've watched quite a few videos online, and it looks amazing. So I'm so excited to try this out. I've got high hopes for this. It also comes with the Style Pro Makeup Brush Cleanser as well. The good thing about this set is that you don't have to buy the cleanser to use the products. You can just use your regular shampoo that you use for your brushes and I use my Johnson's baby shampoo so I just use a big bottle of Johnson's baby shampoo to wash my brushes it's quick cheap and easy so it does the job really good so I'm going to show you how to set up the Style Pro brush cleanser and how to use it as well I'm really excited let's try it so this is the box that it comes in just a nice black box and it just opens up the front like this and that is what you get on the inside here they give you some batteries, which is always great when they include that. This is like a, the holder for the silicone heads, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the actual device that spins your makeup brushes. So you get the little head for the bowl to go on, on top of the bowl. This is the bowl itself. So it's just like a little glass bowl. And then on the inside, you get a silicone ring you get the white large um, attachment for the silicone rods and a black attachment as well. So it's just a nice clear glass bowl. And then right at the bottom of the box you get some silicone heads which are all different sizes depending on your brush sizes. So the first thing you have to do is grab this and your silicone ring and you have to attach this to the ring around the front cap just like so, so it's all the way around. And then you just push this onto the bowl and this acts as like a stopper for the water so it won't come outside the bowl or anything like that so you just want to push down just like so so you have this really nice attachment on the front so it stops any spillages coming out I'm going to take the batteries and I'm going to pop them into the actual device and then I'm going to take the lid off and I'm just going to insert the batteries into the device like that and you can hear the buzzing sound and the light it means it's on so just turn it off for a second so I've just put all the silicone heads onto the base here so it's all together and you've got different sizes depending on your brushes so these are for little eyeliner brushes these are for the big brushes and then little eyeshadow brushes as well so it all depends on the size of your brush you can use whichever head you want so I've got all of my brushes here some of them are dirty and I want to see if this works and try and clean some of the brushes so I've got a foundation brush here that I want to use this is just one from eBay I've got a blush brush here that I want to try and use I've got another another powder brush and this big powder brush and then I'm also going to use and then also show this stipple brush as well so these are the brushes I've decided to try and wash with this thing see if it works so the first thing i'm going to do is the foundation brush because this is the one that is the most dirty as you can see i've used this quite a few times so what you have to do is you have to select a size of these silicone heads for your brush so i'm just going to try them out so you want to push it into the silicone head making sure that it's straight down like so and then you want to take the attachment so i'm going to take the black one here and then you want to push the end of this silicone hole into the end of the attachment, just like so. And then this end of the attachment goes in the device. So there's a little hole up here where the light is in this little grey area. You want to push it into there. So for this purpose I'm going to use the brush cleanser that it comes with just to show you. But then I will use the next one with normal baby shampoo. 
So it says on the side here to fill one cap worth and you don't add water to this, you just use the solution. So one cap's worth and pour it into the bowl. Then what you're supposed to do is dunk in the brush into the solution on the bottom of the bowl just for about 10 seconds just to work it into the solution. And then when you're ready you want to turn it on. It's getting used to it because it's quite fast. There you go. As you can see it's spinning round and round and it's cleaning the brush. Ooh. You want to make sure that you've got it nice and straight. Again guys this is my first time. There you go. As you can see it's going round and round cleaning it. Just for a few seconds. And then when you're ready you want to lift it up slightly outside of the liquid and just hold it there for a few seconds. And then when you're ready, turn it off and lift it out. <gasps> wow, oh my god, look at that. That is completely clean and dry. That is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Guys, I'm not sure if you can see this, but look how clean and fluffy that is. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. That looks like a brand new brush. I'm so, so impressed with that. So this is the brush before, as you can see it's pretty dirty, it's got quite a lot of blush in this and some bronzer as well. So I'm going to try and see if this works. I'm going to use the same solution so I don't have to renew it, but look how dirty that water is, it's amazing. So I'm going to just see if this works with the same solution or if you have to keep cleaning it out every time. So again, you want to find a head that works. This one fits, so I'm going to use the same head. So again, you want to dunk it into the water, well into the solution shall I say. And as you can see again, it's soaked up all that solution. But you want to keep pressing it up and down for a few seconds, just so it works into the bristles. And then when you feel like it's ready to go, again, you want to turn this on. So it gives a good clean. And you want to do this for about, I'd say, 10 to 20 seconds, roughly, just to really give it a good clean. And then when you're ready, just lift it outside the liquid, again for about 10 seconds. And then there you go, oh my god, look at that. Look how nice and clean that is. You can still see a little bit of product on there, but I think because the solution is dirty, it's probably why. But look how clean that is, you can use it, it's nice and dry, it's fluffy. I'm very impressed with that. Okay, so next I've got this brush here, which is a fluffy brush, and I'm going to clean this one as well. I'm going to use baby shampoo just to see if this works as well. So I'm going to squirt a tiny bit of baby shampoo in the bottom. Then I'm going to add some water, just like so. Now I'm just going ahead and dunking in the brush just a few times to, again, disperse the shampoo. And then what you do is you turn it on. I'm going to lift it up for a few seconds to dry and turn it off. So again I used baby shampoo and some water, I added a tiny bit more water to the bowl but look at the brush, it's nice and fluffy and clean, I am very very impressed with this. And then again you want to dunk this into the water just for a few seconds and then start cleaning. Just for a few seconds, I up and down to clean it. And then lift it up. Again for a few seconds. Turn it off. And then you are left with a nice, clean, dry brush. How amazing is that? Hey everyone, today's video is just going to be a really quick vlog, something just spontaneous in the spare of the moment, I wasn't planning on filming today, but my friend Rachel is coming around, Little Miss Makeup.